This is Wilhelmina, a diamondback terrapin female turtle being treated for dehydration at Turtle Rescue of the Hamptons in Jamesport, Long Island. She was stranded on the ocean on the shore, severely dehydrated and emaciated. If all goes well, she'll be released into the wild next year. Wilhelmina is one of over 100 turtles rescued and taken here to the sanctuary. It has an outdoor facility with a makeshift hospital inside this house, complete with different departments, including an ICU. Like many other land and aquatic turtles, Wilhelmina was trying to find a spot to hibernate for the winter when she was found at a local beach this season. According to the sanctuary's director, Karen Testa, injured turtles on Long Island have become a growing concern this time of year. Many of them have injuries attributed to human activity, which oftentimes lead to death. We have a lot of paralyzed, a lot of amputees. We have a lot of blind turtles. Uh, a lot of car crushes, a lot of abscess turtles from the chemicals and pesticides that we spray. Um, there's a lot of injury uh, like that. But these aren't the only threats to their lives. Single use plastics, straws, paper bags, plastic, any utensils, get rid of all that. The pollution is really detrimental. So let's talk about the pandemic. I mean, we're living in a completely different world. Have you noticed any differences during the pandemic and, uh, you know, with the amount of turtles that you have coming into the sanctuary? We've had more than ever this year. We thought, okay, the pandemic, there are not going to be a lot of people on the roads. Maybe it'll help the turtles from getting hit by cars. No. Didn't help at all. The COVID crisis has led to more people fleeing the city and relocating to Long Island, which poses more of a risk for these reptiles. Testa says keeping the turtles healthy is crucial to keeping the many species alive. So if you happen to stumble across an injured turtle, contact the sanctuary. And the next time you're behind the wheel, be sure to watch out for animals. That includes our very vulnerable turtle population. Stacey Ann Gooden, PIX11 News.